Once you've minted your NFT, you then need to sell it on the marketplace. So we've just finished minting our Zombie Bride, one of five. And what you'll see is that there's nothing in your wallet, so you need to click on Reload Wallet. once you can see your NFT in the wallet is just the same as if you have an NFT that you buy or, or you mint from another Solana collection so it's not one that you've created but you've bought it you just come into your wallet here and see your NFTs and you can come and just go list my NFT I'll be doing a special price for these uh, the first lot of NFTs that I'm t tutorialing here um, they are 0.04 sol, which is about $10 US. Click on list NFT. And essentially what I want to do is have it so that uh, people can come in and buy these and it's good practice for you because you're not spending much money. Uh, you can set up your phantom wallet, put money into it, come here, test it out with a cheap NFT. Uh, and then what I encourage you to do is then go and relist that NFT on Solsi and put it at a higher price just to um, to try out what it takes to list. Even though Solsi uh, does not have high gas fees like Ethereum, you still do have to pay a fee and in this case it's you know, 0.004, so it's about 5 or 10 cents. I'm just going to prove that. Disappeared from my wallet here, but if I go and click on my listed NFTs, we can see it right there. So you don't have to be a creator, you can uh, be someone who just goes and buys Solana NFTs, and you can use Solsi to come and list that for sale. So for those that are new, as I was saying before, I've got a number of NFTs. Uh, I've got one of fives of Zombie Hugs and I'll have one of fives of Zombie Bride. Uh, if you come along here, $10 or 0 0.04 Sol, uh, it's a good way to, to try and practice buying a Solana NFT at a low cost. Thanks for your support.